It's Al Cole from CBS Radio, host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction, cluing you in that in our 21st century, I'll tell you, products and services are sold through video. <laughs> That's right. So sell it through video at Al Cole Enterprises and SAG 14 Production Company. You got it. And right now you got it too. enjoy another outstanding audio clip from our international guest list featuring my son, the fantastic Benji Cole on People of Distinction. And on the line with us today, we have Jane Bennett Monroe. We'll be discussing four fantastic books by her. And guys, keep in mind, listen, it is such a pleasure because this is going to be the first part in a two-part series interview because Jane has that many books. We couldn't cram it all into one. So we had to bring her back on for a second one just to make sure that we got across to all seven titles. That's right, seven books in totality. And just from speaking to Jane a little bit, I'm sure there's going to be more on the horizon to come. But we have seven at the moment, which we're going to discuss, four of which are going to be discussed today. And the first one is going to be called Murder Under the Microscope, followed by Too Much Blood, then Grievous Bodily Harm, and then the last one is Death by Autopsy. All of which can be found on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or if you want to get everything that Jane has to offer, listen, do yourself a favor. Go directly to her personal website, janebennettmonroe.com. There you'll find more information on her, more information on all of her titles, as well as hyperlinks set up to take you to purchase the book also. So one last time, that's janebennettmonroe.com. And I will say, Jane was brought to our network, People of Distinction, today by some of the best movers in the business. Lit Prime Publishing. If you have a book that you'd like moved, move it through Lit Prime. You can find them at litprime.com. Let's not waste any time. Jane, Murder Under the Microscope. Tell us a little bit about the book. Okay, well, all of my books are murder mysteries that are set in hospitals or other medical situations. They feature female pathologist Tony Day, and the first one, Murder Under the Microscope, introduces Tony. She is 41 years old in this book, and she she encounters another doctor who is a temporary fill-in for a doctor that's on sick leave. And this particular doctor um, takes an aversion to Tony right off the bat. And one morning she goes into work, and there's a dead body on the floor in her office, and guess who it is? It's this doctor. So naturally... Since Tony is the only one having any problem with this doctor, and because the doctor was found on the floor in her office dead, Tony is the obvious suspect to have killed her. Mm -hmm. So Tony has to try and solve the murder herself because the police aren't looking any further than Tony. The second book, Too Much Blood, deals with a sleazy lawyer. Uh, This sleazy lawyer got all of Tony's medical colleagues and a lot of other people besides other lawyers and uh, tax accountants and other people that have money to invest into a scheme that turned out to be a Ponzi scheme. And so there's an awful lot of people who want this guy dead. And so here's this lawyer that back when everything crashed, declared bankruptcy and left town and was gone for two months and then showed up dead in his car in the middle of the freeway in a snowstorm. And so Tony has had to solve all of these different crimes where people, people end up in the hospital bleeding because they've been drugged with this anticoagulant drug. But Tony manages to solve that case too. Then we move on to grievous bodily harm, which involves a sleazy hospital administrator. And this is a guy who treats employees like, well, you should pardon the expression, shit, (laughs) and is a pathological liar. And during this time, the little hospital that Tony has been working at has gotten into financial trouble because a lot of hospitals have had to close, the small ones. And so they hire this new administrator because he's young and charismatic and and knows what's what. And, you know, they they want him to, like, manage the transition from the little community hospital to this big tertiary care hospital that they want to build in Twin Falls. Well, this guy isn't satisfied with just being an assistant administrator. He wants to go up the corporate chain to be CEO of the entire system that's building the new hospital. And so to do that, he engages in blackmail and extortion and sexual harassment and abuse. Anyway, somebody poisons this guy at the hospital picnic in the city park. And everybody thinks Tony did it because she was the only one having problems with this guy. And she has to solve that one, too. 
Death by autopsy, on the other hand, this nurse who Tony knows and doesn't like because she's a malicious gossip, she drives off a snowy road into a canal. And Tony is bringing her parents home from the airport. They've just come to visit. And she sees the car go off the road. She calls 911, and they get the car out of the canal. Tony has actually gone in the canal to try and see if she can help. But in any case, they... Their canal, the canal company people hauled the car out of the out of the canal, and it's this nurse. And so Tony, knowing what a nasty person this is, tells the sheriff, "Don't just assume this is an accident." And it wasn't. And again, there is a plot that goes back 30 years or so that culminated with this nurse getting killed, and also her husband got killed and was in the trunk of the car when it went into the canal. So anyway, uh, the nurse ends up on the autopsy table. Tony gets ready to do an autopsy. She's got the scalpel in her hand. She's going to make the Y-shaped incision. And the patient comes back to life. It's Al Cole from CBS Radio, host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction, cluing you in that in our 21st century, I'll tell you, products and services are sold through video. <laughs> That's right. So sell it through video at Al Cole Enterprises and SAG 14 Production Company. You got it and look forward to enjoying other outstanding audio clips from our international guest list featuring my son, the fantastic Benji Cole on People of Distinction.